Good evening, and welcome to Danger Theater. Sometimes we here in the top echelons of the United States government do things in the interest of national security that we're not very proud of. First up tonight, the searcher focuses on just such a case and takes on his most unusual and challenging adversary. So curtain up. It's time for, come on, say it with me, Danger Theater. Meet Dr. Karen Krieger, single with a PhD in animal behavior. She's devoted to her work, creating new and unusual weaponry for the Department of Defense. Billy, is that you? Overworked and over budget, Dr. Karen Krieger is about to find herself in over her head. Done research facility. So this is where our tax money goes. Very impressive. I wonder if I could get a complimentary lunch platter. It's been a really long ride. Hungry. Hmm. What's that game you order? a boy. Only his name was Mr. Snooky. I know you'd be great friends. I wouldn't touch him. Oh, that's all right. I love bunny rabbits. Wow! Don't hurt him. Oh, I'm not gonna hurt him. We're just playing. Are you all right? I'm fine. Just one of the hazards of my job. Now, I wonder if you could please tell Dr. Krieger that the searcher is here, and then come back with him while you're still dripping. <clears throat> I'm Dr. Krieger. Dr. Karen Krieger? Oh, Dr. Two-Piece, it's a pleasure to meet you. Excuse me? Oh. I was in the tank, working with the dolphins. Lucky fish. Now, what seems to be the problem? Tectodyne has a contract with the United States government to do research in animal behavior modification. We train animals to be assassins. Whatever happened to the good old days when we just taught them to fetch? We have an emergency here. Our prize orangutan, Cookie, escaped last night. Oh, that's terrible. Cookie was being trained to assassinate Saddam Hussein. Unfortunately, the training wasn't complete. We only got as far as the mustache. Mm. That is a problem. Especially for people with mustaches. We're positive she's still on the ground, somewhere behind Tectodyne. She's wearing a transmitter collar. 
just like this one. You can track her down with this receiver. Don't worry, Dr. Krieger. You've hired the right man for the job. I'm very, very focused. Oops. I hope that hot water wasn't for something important. That's not water. That's sulfuric acid. Oh. Well, I better go catch that monkey before she kills Tom Selleck. My plan is simple. First, lure the murderous Gibbon out of her hiding place. And then, spring my trap. I'm getting close. According to, to my calculations, she should be... Behind me. No. I've got you now, you little knuckle dragger. That cookie is clever. This is a beehive. A beehive. for the reasons that Dr. Krieger said. You're a nurturing beast and a caring creature. In fact, when the light hits you in just the right way, you're, you're kind of pretty. You should find a male orangutan and settle down and raise some young ones. You're a natural-born mother. I'm sorry, Cookie, but I still have a job to do. I have to take you back. I'm a professional. I don't get emotionally involved. Please, Dr. Krieger, please let Cookie go free. Don't you have any feelings? Let her go? I can't let this creature go. She's programmed to kill. Not anymore. <laughs> I've deprogrammed her. Woo! Okay, so there's a slight glitch. I demand you turn her over to me. You're the searcher. It's your job. My job may be the searcher. But I have a bigger job, as a human being. You have an obligation to do the right thing. Exactly. That's why Cookie is coming with me. Grab the leather, Cookie. I hope you know what you're doing. They'll chase you. There's nowhere you can hide. That's where you're wrong, Doctor. I'm the searcher. Nobody finds me. I find them. <laughs>
Isn't it beautiful, Cookie? Oh. Oh. Home, sweet home. tough to say goodbye but I have to go I have my work to do this is your home now don't you understand you're free go go on run go on now I don't want to see you anymore I don't want you around me anymore go on now run get out of here I hate you go on It's the toughest thing I've ever had to do. What a moving story. And what a beautiful performance by Meryl Streep as Cookie the Orangutan. I mean, that woman can do anything. That wasn't Meryl Streep. Well, who's going to know? Hmm. Next, on Danger Theater. Two innocent young men who've decided to make a difference and not just sell coffee at 357 Marina Del Rey. Are you sure this is the place, Raymond? This doesn't much look like a private detective agency. Oh, yeah, this is it, Madeline. 357 Marina Del Rey. I got a great write up in LA Style magazine. These guys found Jimmy Hoffa's shoes. Clay, I'm so excited. I just bleached my teeth. What do you think? Open your mouth. Let me see the bottom. Oh, that is cool. That is very cool. But let me give you a little advice. Choose your smile moments carefully, like I did. How's this? Oh, that's too big. See, a good smile works when you sneak up on it. You know, like, hello? Excuse me, are you Rake Monroe and Clay Gentry? That's us. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, look, I'm Raymond Pettigrew, and this is my fiance, Madeline Powers. Thank you. Uh, look, we're very much in love, but we've got a very serious problem. That's our middle name. Why, do you have a serious problem? No, I thought you had one. Oh, it's my ex-boyfriend, Francis Helm. Oh, he has a serious problem. No, we, 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 we have the problem. Look, Francis Helm has been harassing us for the past month. I mean, he won't leave us alone. You gotta help us. Look at her. You just can't take this anymore. Well, it's good you're holding up so well. Well, one of us has to. What exactly do you want us to do? Return this ring that that creep gave Madeline. Make sure he understands it's over. Right, finished, done. Francis doesn't handle rejection very well. Well, when we finish with Francis Helms, he'll love rejection. You two make yourselves comfortable. This won't take long. How about you? Where are we going? Bad cop, right? Uh -huh. You lose it. Act like you're gonna tear him to pieces, <laughs> and I'll hold you back. All right, it's a great plan. Yeah. All right, but don't forget, this yeah. is a new jacket. Yeah, of course. Francis Helm! Private investigators, open up. You're in big trouble, punk. Hey, your teeth are really looking good, man. Thanks. Change of plan, Clay. Two good cops. Hello. I'm trying to sleep here, man. What do you want? Very simple, sir, and you'll be back to sleep in no time. We have reason to believe that this ring belongs to you, so yeah. we'll just leave it with you and be on our way. I gave that ring to Madeline. 
Where is she with that slimy lawyer? Sorry, but we can't divulge personal client information, but may I ask, where did you get those handsome tattoos? I did them myself. That's an art, Clay. Yes, it is. You're truly a gifted man, sir. You want to know what I did to the last two private dicks that tried to return that ring? Look, Clay, fresh graves. Forget about the ring. We're sorry. We're wrong. We had no right to disturb you, so we'll just leave. Yes, go back to sleep. Pleasant dreams. God bless and uh, Merry Christmas. Yeah. And you can tell Madeline and that weaselly little yuppie lawyer of hers that they have not seen the last of Francis Helm. That tree had to be there at least six months. A very festive guy. If we don't return the ring, we're not going to get paid. OK. Get ready to bolt. the real stuff. I don't think I'm up for it. Maybe we should stop being private detectives. Yeah, we'll stop soon as we get our bus back to the Jeep. Come on. Clay, I'm sorry, man. I screwed up back there. Don't worry about it. At least we dissed the maniac. We did it. Francis Helm is sucking on that ring. Did you have to kill him? It got a little tricky towards the end, but we pulled it off. Even though you didn't tell us he was a six foot six beast from hell. Well, sorry, but sometimes you have to leave something out to win the case. It's an old lawyer's trick. But hey, the main thing is that we won. You guys are the best. Are you sure you had the right trailer? Lady, I should know whose butt I was kicking. Rake, look, it's the butt you were kicking. I want all the so-called men in this room to sit down. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Please don't let me die. Not on my first case. Madeline, honey, you're coming with me. Hey, Francis, we've been through this. It's over. Why can't you accept that? Yeah, you animal, you beast. When are you just going to leave us alone? Shut up, rodent. Madeline, honey, come on, let's go. You want the detectives do something? Would anyone like a cappuccino? What? A cappuccino. Francis, I'm not going. No. No. Don't anybody try to pose. No. He's psychotic. Look, I'll, I'll pay anything to get Madeline back. Well, actually, speaking for Clay and myself, we'd both like to officially bail. But, the, but he's got my Madeline. And your bins. Oh, that's it. Nobody's bailing! Madeline's dead. I know she's dead. He's killed her. I don't think she's dead. Well, then, then he's drugged her. Look, his, his trailer's attached to my Mercedes. What does it mean? In most countries, it means somebody's moving. Oh, we gotta do something. You've got the gun. You do something. We are all gonna do something! Let me do anything. I'd like to go on record as saying that this is really going to upset Francis. And so, Clay, goodbye, man. I loved you like a brother. Don't worry about it, Ricky. I got a plan. Francis Hill, come out your surroundings and let the woman go or face a certain death. What? Go! Get the gun! Ah, yeah! When you said get the gun, did you mean me? 
Yes, that's why I looked at you. I I'm sorry, I missed that. No, I got you, you gigantic pile of garbage! All right, come on out, Madeline. Come on out. You're safe now. You're Raymond's here. I'll drop the guns, Raymond. No, look, I got him, Madeline. I got him! But I love him, Raymond. I'm staying Man. with him. What? Oh, no. Oh, come on, this can't be happening. I think it is. But why? Because I could never be a lawyer's wife. This is who I am. I'm a biker chief. Oh, come on, where'd you get that horrible tattoo? Francis gave it to me. And it's beautiful. I'm sorry, Raymond. It's over. Barry, then you're all gonna die! Because I can't take anymore! I don't care anymore! Starting with you! Raymond, you don't want to do this. Raymond, stop it. No, don't! I love you, Madeline. Ray, we gotta do something. Um, uh, um, look! Liz Taylor! Clay, now! Yes! I have an agenda here! Yeah, right. Man, you guys saved our lives. I owe you. You don't know us. Raymond does. Oh, I have to pay for this? Yeah, deal's a deal, counselor. We'll see you back at 357 Marina Del Rey. Madeline and Francis got married at the little chapel in Las Vegas, Nevada. As for Raymond, he had his entire body tattooed in hopes of one day winning back his beloved Madeline. Good night and good luck from Danger Theater. You want to see my tattoo? This is it. The outrageous season premiere of Martin is next. And right after that, stay tuned for the new Fox comedy, Living Single.